In today's video, I'm going to share the top color grading mistakes I made in DaVinci Resolve and how you can easily avoid them. I will show you two workflows, as a pro and as a beginner. So stick around and improve your editing game. Let's start as a beginner. The first mistake is to not properly converting your log footage into a Rec. 709 color space. I have created a bunch of nodes, but mostly for the second workflow. So when I was a beginner and recorded in a log profile, I would go in and start grading the clip by dialing in the exposure while looking at my waveform without even converting it to a Rec. 709 color space. I pull down the lift to create some contrast, push up my gain to add more brightness, but I don't want to clip anything because otherwise I will lose information and that is not professional, right? But that is the second mistake. Always wanting to protect your highlights and shadows. The third mistake is oversaturating your footage. Try to focus on specific colors rather than the whole color range. You can create a specific look by protecting your skin tones, which I will show you in the second workflow. The next mistake is to always use the tint and temp sliders to balance your shots. It's not wrong to use the sliders. I mean, they're here for a reason. But after some experience, I figured that when wanting to get really precise results, the wheels just never disappoint me. And as you might notice, I did all the adjustments in just one node, which is the next mistake. Doing everything in one or two nodes. Now I want to dial in my skin tones, for that I'm using the qualifier and by that I'm selecting a part of my skin, turn on the mask so I know what I'm selecting and with the tint slider I'm adjusting the color but for it to work properly we have to do more which I'll show you later in this video. So this last mistake is not using the qualifier correctly. I'm adding a few masks and that was it. For a simple grade with only a few adjustments, these are some of my mistakes when I first started out. Now for the second look, we will do the exact same order, but we will avoid the mistakes and try to come up with a better look. And at the end of the video, we will compare these two grades. Let's start by converting our footage properly with the color space transform node at the end of our node tree. Now for better organization, I'm not only using more nodes as before, but I'm also naming my nodes so I know exactly what changes I did in certain nodes. I am mostly using the curves combined with the editable splines for a smoother S-curve and as you can see, I'm not afraid of lowering my blacks. The table is pitch black, which in this case is totally fine. The important thing is that your hero should be properly exposed. Your hero could be the environment such as a sky, a car or in this case myself. The next node will be my temperature node. I'll use the wheels to get more accurate results. I want to add more blues to the highlights with the gain wheel and counteract with some warmth in the midtones with the gamma wheel. Now the saturation slider was at about 95 on the first grade and here on this one I'll only go about 59 because the colors will be added now with a layer node to create the look I want to go for. The skin layer sits at the bottom so everything I do here will not be affected in the layer above since I'm masking out my skin tones with the qualifier. Now the mistake I was doing when I was a beginner not using the denoise slider because if I'm not using it these weird blocks will appear. So let's denoise it a bit and you can see them disappear. Combine this with a blur and you're good to go. I'm adding some skin tone with the midtone wheel and now you can see the power of the layer nodes. In my look node, I'll add some color separation to the scene by adding some blue tones. Look at my vector scope. Since my skin tones are not affected, I'm creating a cool teal and orange look. Just like in the beginner grade, I'll add some masks to draw the attention to the center. Enhance the practical light in the background and so on. I'll show you now the two grades and decide for yourself which one you like the most. Since color grading is personal preference, there are no perfect outcomes. There are many more mistakes I did when I first started out and I'll definitely make more mistakes in the future as I'm getting more experienced. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll create a video about it. By the way, thank you so much for the support lately. We have hit over 500 subs. I'm sure we can hit 1k by the end of this year. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Begging, I'm tired of me never